Hello and thank you for joining me on another video. My name is Hannah McAndrew, I'm a skin specialist based in South Wales and also an educator for Nimu Skin Technology. Today's video is going to be all about microneedling and collagen induction therapy. So you may have noticed I'm in a slightly different location because we are on lockdown in the UK, but I thought this would be a great time to catch up on all of my video content. So microneedling and collagen production. So as we get older, we lose collagen from the lower layers of the skin. Collagen is a protein that gives the skin its, its snap and its bounce back. So as we get older, we lose that, unfortunately, and also with sun exposure, we can lose the collagen. And it basically then is what causes wrinkles. So as we're losing collagen, particularly, you know, around the eyes and all the expressive places, that's when we start to get lines then, because the skin has just really lost its volume. So as we get older, we want to obviously try and make more collagen to replace the loss that we experience. And we can do this with products and treatments. And one of the treatments is the microneedling. So the Nimu microneedle is on a roller. This one is one millimetre. So you can see the little rollers are all stuck in the drum there. So as we roll over the face, you'll get tiny little puncture wounds on the skin. It's not enough to bleed, but it is enough to for the skin to think it's been injured and therefore you'll start the collagen remodeling process. So this treatment is really good for fine lines and wrinkles. It is also really good for acne scarring or any scarring. So sometimes you get like the post-inflammatory scarring with acne. So you can see a little bit of the, um, the marks on my skin there. So it's going to help to reduce the appearance of those. Also, any pitted scarring. So if you imagine um, after acne, some people can get the little pits in the skin. That can also be improved with collagen induction because the collagen, when it is remodeled over the next four to ten weeks, is going to be knitted together in a more regular pattern. So we can treat scarring with this treatment also. Also, things like acne can be treated. So if you've got a, a closed-in spot, like I've got one here, a little pustule that hasn't actually come out of the skin yet, the needles are going to roll over, introduce oxygen into the follicle, and therefore all the acne bacteria inside will then die. So it's a really good treatment for you know, little whiteheads if people have got a lot of little bits of congestion. So any mild acne can be treated. If it was severe acne, we'd avoid it at this stage because it would just be too inflamed to treat. Pigmentation can also be treated with this treatment. So if, I don't know if you can see I've got a little bit of um, you know, brown marks here like sun damage. Um, the treatment can help bring the pigmentation up uh, through the layers, so you'll see a fading quite quickly. And also, it can dampen the melanin synthesis process over the next couple of weeks after the treatment as well. So that way it can be used for pigmentation. You would have one treatment a month for six months, because it can take four weeks for the collagen to be made. So there is no point in trying to space the treatments closer together one a month would be the best course. Every client would have their own roller. So personally, I only sell it as a course of six treatments. Other therapists may work differently. There are also other brands and other clinics that would offer the treatment with a pen device, which is um, like a motorized pen that would almost stab the skin. And the therapist would just move the pen around the skin to achieve the injury that way. There are lots of pros and cons of pens versus rollers, so I think I'll have to do a whole new video on that at some point. But Nimu is a trusted brand. This is a one millimeter roller, so like I say, it doesn't go deep enough to bleed, um, but it is deep enough to produce collagen. Nurses and things might be able to go with a deeper roller or a deeper pen to treat things like stretch marks and hair loss, for example, and scarring on the body. This treatment that I'm going to be performing today is going to be to the whole face. And in the salon, I would do the neck and decollete as well. I'd also probably apply a mask afterwards to make it more of a treatment and to really cool the skin down. Because we're going to be seeing quite a bit of redness today. So about eight hours of downtime. So if you were to come and have this treatment done, it would be um, ideal to do it of an evening. Because then you could go back to work the following day. Also, you can't wear any SPF following treatment because it'll actually sit in the channels. Um, so you'd need to either really, really avoid the sun or it's just better to have it done in the evening. So I'm going to be performing the treatment on myself today. I'm going to pop on my Nimu headband. There we go. I'm also popping on some gloves. 
because as you can imagine once you've injured the skin in this way and you've made lots of little channels in the skin you don't want any bacteria etc to go into the skin now I need to sterilize my roller this will be done before and after every treatment for 10 minutes using the Nimu professional sterilizing solution so I'm literally just going to pop my uh, roller into my Nimu bowl and just apply my um, sterilizing solution into the bowl here and that's going to be left for 10 minutes. So I've got enough time to cleanse my skin and I'm also going to do an exfoliation just to prepare the skin. This is the Nimu Professional Size Cleansing Gel. It's the same product that we have in retail, so some people watching would already have this at home in your refillable 140ml pump size. I'm going to use it from the professional stock today because this isn't really a treatment you could do yourself at home. Okay, This is an in-salon treatment only. Okay, so just cleansing my skin here. And I am wearing makeup, so I will double cleanse once to get rid of the makeup. Second cleanse then to actually cleanse. This one is particularly good at taking off eye makeup, even waterproof mascara. Gauze to remove, so I'm just going to wet my gauze. And this is the 10 centimeter professional size gauze that I'm using now. So if you came in for treatment, this is what I would be using on you. We can see how much makeup that's taken off there. Let's just go and do a cleanse number two. So a tiny bit on my, on my hand, a little bit of water to mix, and then we've got the foam. It's very strange um, to be cleansing my own face with gloves on. I now feel what clients feel when I'm performing a treatment on them. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to wet my gauze to remove my second lot of cleansing gel. This cleansing gel is an acid-based cleanser. It's triple AHA complex. We have lactic, citric and glycolic acid in this, so it is a rejuvenating cleanser. And this is quite a nice treatment because it's one of the few treatments that can be performed on a sensitive skin providing there was no active rashes on the face, like eczema or psoriasis at the time of treatment. Also, it can be performed on a client who's not actually using the NIMU skincare at home. which is unlike our professional strength peels, where we build the client up to a certain percentage of uh, strength of acid. Because there's no acid involved in the, in the treatment side of things, don't necessarily have to be using the product at home, although you will produce a lot more collagen if you do. Um, around 10 times more collagen will be produced if you are using an active skincare at home in between the treatments for the six months. So I've done my double cleanse, we're now going to go on with conditioner. This is a 7% acid rejuvenation product, it's not a toner, but you'd use it like a toner. So I'm just going to um, wet my gauze with the conditioner and just wipe over. This is going to remove any traces of my cleanser that's left over. And also just prepare the skin ready for the next stage, which is going to be my exfoliant. This is a lovely decongesting product, so I suffer with acne. But also, if you were using conditioner at home, 
for a few months you would see a difference in the amount of collagen that you would make. It's almost like doing a little mini peel every day. Next product I'm going to use then is my exfoliating enzyme. So this is a fruit-based exfoliator. It's papain and bromelain, papaya and pineapple enzymes. I would normally apply it with a brush over the client's skin for a facial. Um, but today I'm just going to use my hands because I am um, at home because of this lockdown. I'm just going to show the camera my skin at this point. So this is before treatment has started. Just to show, hopefully, um, when I come back in a few days, the difference in my skin after the needling. So we can see at the moment I've got the pigmentation marks here. Some fine lines around the corners of the eyes. Also underneath this one, I've got uh, uh, just one line here. I've got some congestion on the chin there. And I wouldn't go as far as to say these are lines, but they could do with plumping up. Similarly on the, the forehead there. And it'd be nice to try and fade some of this scarring as well. So that's my before. Just pumping the exfoliating enzyme onto my glove. It's quite a sticky product. Um, if, you, if you imagine it's from fruit, so it almost feels a bit like sap. And in a treatment, I would actually apply this with a brush and then apply my professional steamer over the face. And that would just literally blow steam all over the product which really gets the enzymes working and moving. The enzymes are going to nibble away the bonds between the dead skin and then just allow that um, top layer of skin then to fall off in its own time. So it's not an abrasive um, exfoliator which is going to really disrupt the skin's barrier. Plus it would probably be a little bit too harsh to use before rollering. The enzyme is really, really gentle, it's suitable for all skin types. So even if somebody had eczema on the face, they could use exfoliating enzyme. I use it as part of every facial, every treatment, every skin peel that I offer in the salon. And also it's available for home use. Because I don't have a steamer, I'm just wetting my gloves with some warm water. And we're just going to massage this in for eight minutes. To really, really exfoliate the skin. So that's my eight minute massage done. Just going to remove with some more damp gauze. And then just to remove any last traces, I'm going to use conditioner again. And just give a wipe over. So I've really prepared my skin. So at this stage, I'd be deciding which product I wanted to needle with. Most brands um, of needling will only allow you to needle with hyaluronic acid gel to, as like a slip solution. And also just so that something can be needled into the skin. There are some brands that have their own serums, etc. And so do Nimue. So with the choices with Nimue, you have two different ranges that we could choose from, and I like to use both during a treatment. The first one is going to be TDS. So that's Nimue, TDS, environmental damage. So they make four TDSs, one for environmental damage, which is a yellow, green one for problematic skin, a blue one for hyperpigmented skin, and a pink one for interactive or sensitive skin. Today I'm going to be using the environmental damage because I wanted to work on uh, wrinkles today. So that's the one I'm going to pick to use. The benefit of TDS is barrier repair. So they feel really, really hydrating on the skin. They put and hold water in the lower levels of the skin. So therefore you'll get a better healing post-treatment. So personally, I like to apply these after the needling to really cool the skin down. But also the colour will indicate then what active ingredients are going to be put into the skin following treatment. And these will absorb much better than they would alone. Because if you imagine there's, there's going to be lots of channels in my skin, so I'm going to get an increased surface area to absorb. The second option is to use superfluids. There's a choice of five superfluids and they come in um, these 30ml tubes. This one's called cyanoacrylate superfluid. 
This particular one is for sensitive skin, so it helps prevent free radicals from being formed on the skin. So it's almost like a step ahead of being um, an antioxidant. It actually, rather than neutralising free radicals, which is what an antioxidant would do, this one's going to prevent the free radicals from being formed in the first place. So really good for sensitive, inflamed and red skin. We also have the vitamin C, which I think I'll use today. Vitamin C is very good for brightening collagen production and for all um, all concerns, really, every single skin needs vitamin C because it's a really good antioxidant. So I'm going to use this one today on myself. Another choice would be NAD or nicotinamide riboside. So this is um, giving cellular energy to the skin cell. So I think of this a little bit like um, the so the LED mask canopies, which I need to do another video on. The LED mask canopies also emit light at a wavelength that charges the cell almost to give it energy and NAD it does a very very similar thing in a liquid form so it's quite lifting and brightening good for the first signs of aging that one we also have PB or prebiotic so this is a type of polysaccharide that will sit on the skin and it gives food to the good bacteria that are naturally present on the skin so really good for acne sufferers, because if you can imagine with acne, it's a bad bacteria. You want your good bacteria to be present and healthy and fighting against the acne bacteria. And also for any impaired barrier conditions. So again, redness, sensitivity, inflammation. Usually that's caused by an impaired barrier and therefore the skin isn't functioning as it should. Usually because the balance of the good versus the bad bacteria on the surface is not there. So this PB or prebiotic is going to give those good bacteria nutrition just to enable them to multiply and therefore um, fight against the bad bacteria on the skin. And then we have our tea, retinol. So everybody I think knows retinol as a super duper anti-aging ingredient. So this is the one I use most in salon because most people coming to me are wanting help with aging. So I'd needle with retinol. Today for myself, because it's acne and just general complexion that I want to deal with, I'm going to use the prebiotic and the vitamin C together. And then afterwards, I think I'm going to just apply my environmental damage TDS. You do have the option, if you are a professional watching this and you are trained in NIMU microneedling, you have the option of just using TDS alone and needling just with one product. But I'm going to use all three today, so I want to get every single ingredient I possibly can on my skin. Right, so my face is dry. I've done my exfoliation. The next step is to use an alcohol pad. These are just what you buy when you go to, you know, refill your first aid kit, that type of thing. They are very smelly, but they are going to enable me to make sure my face is completely clean, ready for needling. So we don't want to have any bacteria, fungus, viruses, etc. hanging around because they're just going to get needled into the skin. So I'm just making sure everywhere. So that's an alcohol wipe. So in the salon, I would perform this treatment to the neck and chest as well. Today, I'm just going to go slightly under my jaw, just where my acne scarring is, just to show you. Okay, so my roller is now sterile. So I'm just going to take that out of the <clears throat> out of the bowl and place it on top to dry. Just going to mix the two super fluids onto my glove just so that I can apply them to my skin in a second. I'm going to work from the forehead down, which is how I would do it in salon. Also, because the forehead is the worst place to work on, I get asked quite a bit is this treatment painful? And I would say if you can cope with facial waxing, you will be absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm just mixing those two fluids together on the back of my glove. So the prebiotic has got the little pieces of the good bacteria food in there. Just apply to my forehead and in between my eyebrows and temples. I think we'll do this bit in one go. I'm going to get my tissues ready because sometimes you can have an involuntary sneezing or eye watering going on. Not because of the pain, it's 
completely involuntary, and I think it's to do with the histamine that is released during the needling. So here's my roller. The number of times that you roll will obviously, we'll go through this if you um, come and do the training class with me. Um, but it's basically six, sorry, three passes. So back and four counts as one pass. So one pass, one pass, and we're going to do three. Two, three, four, five, six. Ooh, <laughs> just felt something behind my eye then. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. So for those of you watching who don't know me, this is really not a treatment you could do on yourself at home. There are rollers you can buy for home use that are a much lower depth. But all they would be for is enabling you to have a deeper product penetration with your home use items. So if you've got a, a day cream, for example, that you like to use or a serum, it'll give you a deeper penetration. It won't give you the collagen induction. Okay, so that's my vertical passes. I'm not going to go horizontally. And diagonally. Really difficult to speak at the same time as doing this. Just going to do in the middle of my brows now. Now what's nice about needling versus peels is you can get right in around the eye because you can stretch the skin up and uh, up out of the way of the eye socket and just literally rock it into the eyebrow there. So as long as you're not needling actually inside, past the bone, you're fine. Similar story with underneath the eye, we can really pull the skin out of the way to work under here. Just applying to my nose now. I'm just going to go up and down the nose six times. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's a little bit easier to speak on this area rather than the forehead and the eyes. Or maybe not on the sides. <laughs> okay, more super fluid onto the cheeks. Now this is probably the easiest area to tolerate as a client. Okay, just running out of super fluid now. It's just going to apply a little bit more to my glove. Again, I'm mixing my vitamin C with my prebiotic. So I'm dispensing both on my glove here. I'm just going to apply now my top lip. This is probably the worst area for me, so I'm not going to be able to speak. Yeah, if you were turning quite red during the treatment, then you could apply the TDS after each area. So, for example, once I finished the forehead, if I thought it was looking very red, I would apply the TDS immediately to cool it down. Right, I don't know if I can tolerate any more on the lip. Let's try. Not too bad. Hopefully I'll get a nice lip plumping effect there tomorrow. And I'm using a very, very, very light touch. What I like about the roller is you know that the depth is the depth. So as long as the roller is moving, you know it's going to the depth of the needle. Now, at the end, you can actually just stamp in individual areas for an extra result. So I'm definitely going to do this with my roller. Some clinics actually offer stamping as a standalone serv service. So they'll have 
um, a physical piece of square plastic with the needles in, like a bed of nails almost, and just press it into the areas that you need. So if somebody ever wanted just a local treatment for a little bit of scarring on one side, for example, I'd always recommend stamping over um, performing the treatment to the whole face and neck and decollete, just for economy, really. So I'm going to use my roller as a stamp now, just to get right in there and just press it into the areas where you have extra work to do. So press, 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 press. And if you're using a home roller, even though you wouldn't get the collagen production, you could still stamp with your roller at home if you had a, a finer one. So home use, we're talking about um, 0 0.2, 0 0.3 millimetres. Really going for an eye lift. Okay, so immediately post treatment, my skin's not looking too red. I've had this will be treatment number five for me, but I have had a little bit of a, a gap. So I was doing one a month and I was completely on course, and then obviously all these crazy things started happening in the world. So it's been a while since my last treatment. Because I've finished needling now, I've just popped my roller back into sterilise again for 10 minutes. I'm going to apply the TDS serum. So this, as I said before, is a barrier repair serum. And it's very, very cooling. Oh, that feels lovely. I'm using the one for environmental damage. So this contains an ingredient called Albizia jubilorissa which is an anti-glycation ingredient. So sometimes you'll get wrinkles that aren't necessarily caused by just aging or sun damage. They're caused by too much sugar in the diet. So that's most definitely myself. You see them a lot on diabetic clients as well. It almost looks like a kind of a cross hatching in the skin. Now I don't actually have too much of it to show you a good example, but um, I'll try and find a picture for you. And it's good to know that they are caused by diet and therefore you need to be using some sort of anti-glycation product at home. And the TDS environmental damage does indeed have this in it. So as well as using it for needling and for barrier repair, if you have glycation, this is the first product that I would recommend that you buy for home use. In the salon then, I would normally apply a mask at this point, like a sheet mask or a cooling peel-off mask, just to really cool the skin down. And just give time for the TDS and the super fluids, etc., to absorb in. And other than that, there wouldn't actually be any aftercare products going on because they will sit in the channels. So it's really important as aftercare now that I go home, avoid putting any products on my skin for the next eight hours, avoiding SPF and makeup other than the Nimu foundation for 24 hours. Avoiding things like heat, steam, sweating, etc. So unfortunately I can't go to the gym, which is a shame. <laughs> so this is my initial result. I'm not too red, but if it was your first treatment, then you would expect to go a lot redder. It would look probably like sunburn for the first eight hours or so. I'll catch up with you again in a day or two just to show you the initial result. But please. So here I am, 48 hours later, just to show you my results. So if I come closer to the screen here, so we can split the screen and show the difference in my skin. So at the moment, I feel like the pigmentation is ever so slightly lighter, but definitely the post-inflammatory has gone lighter quite quickly. I think these two will take a lot more treatments. The chin as well, um, with the congestion there, like all of this just feels completely smooth now. The eyes, so we had the wrinkles at the side of the eyes here. They haven't decreased too much as yet. However, I feel like under here is far less puffy than it was, and it just everything just feels more refreshed. It feels a lot tighter here. Also on the forehead, everything feels really, really like um, less expressive. So the skin feels less, there's less much less movement in the skin then. 
probably because it just feels so plump. Um, it's worth noting at this point that the plumpless is not collagen. The collagen does take uh, four to ten weeks to lay down. So it is just inflammation and growth factors and healing, etc. going on at this stage. But it's good to know that in a few weeks, then, you know, those results will be a lot more permanent. And as we do more treatments, the results will be more permanent as well. If you would like to book your free consultation, you can do so online at hannahmcandrew.com. Thank you for joining me on another Hannah McAndrew video, and I hope to see you again soon.